From Miami to the hip hop world, an unexpected road came through Trina's career, giving her the journey to fame and stardom. Where does this artist get her inspiration? From her co-stars, of course. Let's find out how the Diamond Princess earned her place at the top, and let's see the places that Trina calls home. Before we get into this video, I wanted to point out the gorgeous bracelets I'm wearing from Otter Spirit. They've been the perfect accessory for the new year, bringing all the positive vibes. These bracelets aren't only authentic grade A gems, but they also contribute to a good cause. I'll share more about my bracelets at the end of this video, as well as a discount code. So stick around. Born in Miami, Florida by the name of Katrina Laverne Taylor, Trina's father was originally from the Dominican Republic and her mother was from the Bahamas. Trina hadn't really thought about having a career in music until she was featured on Trick Daddy's top five rap single, Non. Her journey started as highly influential and very timely. Trina once said in her interviews, I'm not really a gangsta, gnarly, I just rap about streets and reality and things that go on them in life. You know, people say, you keep it real, keep your streets when you keep it real and sometimes it be really they can't accept it but that's I'm saying talk about it proven through her gold certified debut in 2000 Trina demonstrated her ability to command the spotlight following the success she released a series of four top 20 albums starting with Diamond Princess and concluding with Amazing in 2010 this period included the achievement of a number 17 pop hit with here we go Trina created her legacy by collabing with several known artists such as Nicki Minaj Missy Elliott and Lotto she also also worked with a few record labels and joined by a few more celebs. Trina expanded her career into reality TV by starring in Love and Hip Hop Miami, and she continued her charting success with a sixth album, The One, in 2019. Throughout the 2020s, she collaborated with artists like Smiles Official, showcasing her enduring impact on the music scene. Over the years, Trina has been involved in a number of semi-public romantic relationships, occasionally with fellow figures in the music industry. Since 2016, she has been in a relationship with Raymond, a rap artist from Miami, and and a former collegiate basketball player. Notably, Raymond is 13 years younger than Trina, being 29 years old. Despite generally keeping their relationship private, Raymond frequently references Trina on his Instagram. On Valentine's Day in 2021, he celebrated their enduring connection by sharing a photo of them together, expressing five years strong, big vibes. Valentine's is every day for her. Well, Trina has successfully signed over 10 diverse musicians to Rockstar, a list that includes Raymond, who goes by the stage name Ray Almighty. Despite his public persona, Raymond primarily operates behind the scenes at Rockstar, according to the Miami Times, while he serves as the organization's artistic director, actively contributing to the shaping of the images of all artists under their umbrella. His role involves developing various creative concepts to enhance the brand's promotion through every social media post. After some years, Trina Rockstar, who's already known as the baddest, is on her way to being the baddest bride. During a live with influencer Stormy Wellington in 2021, the rep revealed that her boyfriend Raymond Taylor proposed. In October, Hip Hop DX had the opportunity to enter interview Trina backstage at Atlanta's One Music Fest. In a video clip released by the publication on Christmas, the iconic artist from Florida was questioned about her perspective on the individual who, in her opinion, had made the most significant contribution to opening the doors for female rappers. She said, yeah, Beyonce, because she's the number one female rapper when she does rap. Trina said that there is no sleeping on the queen. Now, a few fans might have flipped out with Trina's statement, but she did post a statement in her Instagram story to stop the negativity towards Beyonce being the queen of rap. Where the dusty, crusty, funky bleeps in the back, Beyonce is the queen of rap when she raps and all other genres of music she wrote. Now, stay mad, goofies, I said what I said, and no beep gonna check me. That's a very strong opinion. After this Beyonce debate, social media users managed to resurface footage of the 2013 BMI Awards, showing Trina's performance with a dedication to Nicki Minaj. When one person suggested the pullover artist celebrating Minaj was a laughable moment, Trina hit back in the comments of an IG post where the clip was shared. Feisty Trina, she proves her point with every misdirection. Now let's see how this diva lived in Miami. Hey, what's up? This is Trina. I'm about to show y'all how I'm living. 
Everything we see in her house, Trina designed herself. The crystal chandeliers, marble fireplace, all shipped from Italy. She really has a taste for class. Now her dining setup. A 24 karat gold plated utensils, all Versace design. She doesn't eat off these plates, but it's all about the class and detail. Trina also likes aquariums displayed on her wall. It's like a personal show while she's cooking. In her living space, you can check where she displays her first plaque from the Baddest Chick album on the wall. The living room also has a high vibe lighting custom lucite color piece and of course a mandatory bottle of crystal. Even the master bedroom has a chandelier with 24 karat gold, Versace everything and a touch of class. And her bathroom is Italian everything including a walk in shower. In her closet is where the magic is, Versace, Chanel, Dior, all the glam and glitz. You can also see her favorite boots and exclusive handbag. She even has a mannequin in her house which only a diva like her would have to style. For today, after exploring the lifestyle of Trina, that wraps up this video. But before you go, answer this question for me. What do you think about that Beyonce opinion or who do you think is the best female rapper? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye everyone. Otter Spirit makes beautiful handmade jewelry and they use only authentic gemstones. Each bead is handpicked and tells its own story. Over 80% of the gemstones from Otter Spirit are ranked grade AAA or better. None ever below grade A. Being the animal lover that I am, my favorite thing about Otter Spirit is that they donate $1 per bracelet to protect sea otter. Otter Spirit is based in Monterey Bay, home of the California wild sea otters. Wild otters were almost completely extinct and they're now slowly recovering thanks to conservation efforts. Otter Spirit is also a small family owned business and that's another reason why I love them. These bracelets I'm wearing here, I'm wearing the multi Amazonite, the Adventurine, and the Red Jasper. These are the elements that I wanted to bring into my life most of all. I chose these because Adventurine is one of my favorite gems. It represents prosperity and I wanna fill my world with abundance. I love the multi Amazonite because of its colors and also because it promotes healing, which is something I also wanted to gift myself. Not to mention it's the hopeful stone and promotes things like emotional balance, enhancing intuition, and getting rid of negative energy. Finally, I have the red Jasper. Red is one of my favorite colors, as you can see, and I love Jasper because it promotes strength. Otter Spirit impressed me with their bracelets. I don't usually wear jewelry, but these bring beautiful energy when I put them on. Not only do they serve perfectly, Purpose, they also feel so light and comfortable to wear and the gems are gorgeous if you guys want to bring in some positive vibes for your new year or bring them to someone you love otter spirit has a ton of gem braces to choose from on their website if you use my special link or my coupon code kara20 at checkout you're gonna get 20% off which is even better and some of that will still be donated to the otters